Welcome to the DocMe Capture Batch Directory training session. The Batch Directory is a central listing of all current batches in the system. For standalone licenses, you will only see batches from your station. For network licenses, you will see batches from all stations. First, click on the top left gray button that says Batch Directory. The batch list will show batch name, profile, date created, date modified, which indicates the last time the batch was worked on, module, which shows the current module the batch is in, status, and the last user and computer that the batch was processed with. Under the status column, ready indicates that the batch is ready to be processed in the current module and has not yet been opened in that module. Suspended indicates that the batch was opened in the current module but not yet completed. Error indicates that there is an error with the batch, most commonly an export error. Rescan files indicate that images need to be rescanned in the batch and can be done in the scan or quality control module. When a batch is open on a machine, the status will be displayed as in progress. Batch ID is a unique identifier that is automatically assigned to every new batch and will never be repeated, even if a batch is deleted or exported from the system. To change the module or the status that a batch is in, select the batch in the batch directory and go to the Choose Module section of the screen. Select the module that the batch should be in and set the proper status and click Change. To create a new batch, go to the bottom left of the screen and select a profile that the batch should be assigned to. Next, name your new batch with a unique identifier. The last step is the batch number field, where you can enter either characters or numbers to further identify the individual batch. Once you are done, Click New Batch. Once the new batch is created, it will appear in the batch directory list of all batches. The batch will begin in the first step of the profile that it is assigned to. In most cases, that is the scan module. You can set Document Capture to automatically open the batch in the first step by turning on the Easy Button Auto Open feature under the Setting tab in the Batch Validation Options. To open a batch in its current module, select the batch in the batch directory and click the blue Process button. or right-click on the batch and select Process Batch. To delete a batch from a system, select the batch in the batch directory and click the red Delete button. Or right-click on the batch and select Delete Batch. To unlock a batch, select the batch and click the yellow Unlock button. When a batch has a status in progress, it's locked in that status due to a power outage or loss of network connection. Make sure that the batch is unlocked and return it to its correct status. A batch with in-progress status cannot be processed by a user. Make sure that you do not unlock a batch while it's being used by another user on another machine. To rename a batch, right-click on a batch and select Rename. You can now rename your batch or number and click Update Batch once you're done. The Batch Directory tab is used for several settings. One great feature is to search batches. Simply type in what batch you are searching for and it will select it for you. The Refresh button gives you an update of your list of batches. If you are working in a multi-user network environment where you several users are creating batches, you can constantly see an update of new batches and their status. By default, your batch directory is going to show all batches in the system. If you want to see batches that are in a specific module, simply click on the Batch Filter button and select what batch you want to view. Thank you for watching this Document Capture video tutorial. Feel free to download a fully functional free trial of Document Capture at www.docme.com.